This is not just a story of combat medicine. I immediately asked about casualties, because that's my job. This is men and women, thousands of miles from home. Excited, slightly apprehensive. Scared to death. Cut off by air. The whole experience of being under fire is absolutely terrifying. Cut off by sea. It was bleak. It was bleak as hell. Operating under fire, they treated friend and foe alike. Mi respeto y mi agradecimiento hacia los médicos que salvaron mi vida. We treated them how we would have liked to have been treated if the boot was on the other foot. Dealing with over 1,000 high trauma patients in just six weeks. We were in an overwhelmed situation. Using original footage and personal photographs, testimony from patients, medics, and key players on both sides. Teníamos tres minutos de, de, de ataque y otros tres minutos para escapar rasante. And I thought, my God, if only I had allowed them to paint red crosses on the roof. Theirs is a story that has waited 30 years to be told. I had broken down and wept. This is the story of the Falklands combat medics. On April the 2nd, 1982, Argentina's military junta, headed by General Galtieri, ordered the occupation of the Falkland Islands after 150 years of uninterrupted British rule. Facing overwhelming numbers, the British garrison surrendered, but not before sending a message over 8,000 miles to London. As military switchboards lit up across the UK, the fleet headquarters at Northwood went to full action stations. Within the hour, the message went out to the UK main battle group on exercise in the Mediterranean. Stand to on 48 hours notice to go to war. The British military campaign to regain the Falklands had started. Codename, Operation Corporate. Brigadier Julian Thompson was the man ordered to retake the islands for Britain. General Benjamin Menendez was the man ordered to hold the Falklands for Argentina. 